In this video, we're gonna write a program that solves the system of linear equations of this. And uh, the solution of this system of linear equations is unique and uh, it's this. So let's begin to write the Fortran program and check if the program is right or not. Let's start to write a program, a Fortran program, to solve system of linear equations using the Gaussian elimination method. So first, let's create the Fortran file and uh, it's a Fortran program so first we define a variable this variable that's the order of the system of linear equations okay and continue we define three integer i j k and uh, i is the uh, row number and j is the uh, column number and k is the uh, state number and this is the same as I demonstrate the Gaussian elimination method. And continue, we should define some matrix that save the value of like coefficient matrix x and uh, b. So we should uh, define those matrix. Okay, this A, B, X are the same as I demonstrate the Gaussian elimination method. First, we should allocate the size of those matrix. Okay, and there we should uh, create two files to save the value of A and B. So let's create those two files and like this. This is the file that save the value of A And this is the file to save the value of B. Okay, let's back to write the program. There we should open the file. name a value and we can copy and paste we change the unit and the file name okay after we open these two files we must read the value in the two files so we should run a loop first we read the a value file then we read the b value file 
after we read the two files we close the two files okay now let's uh, write the algorithm of the Gaussian elimination so as I have demonstrated in the video and first there are three steps that we should uh, multiply something and add it to some other row so first k means the number of states so we should uh, create a loop so also we must create loop in k loop so that is i And uh, we should uh, check if a n n is not equal to zero. If a n n is not equal to zero, first I want to calculate uh, b i and uh, we should. Uh, change bi to bi minus a i k divide a k k and multiply b k that's the thing we should do on bi So else, if a k k equals to zero, we should uh, go out of this loop. Yes. So we can use this. And uh, we should uh, define attack. Hundred attack and uh, this tag okay. means we should stop this program because AKK equals to zero, so we cannot solve the linear equations. Okay, and uh, so and if and. Uh, we also should uh, calculate the value of a so we need to define one more loop in this loop we should calculate a and a i j equals to a i j minus a k j multiply a i k divide a k k ok So there is a problem there. So assume that n equals to four when k equals to one and uh, if and assume i equals to two there in the loop of j we can find a i k which is a two one 
will be changed when j equals to one. But we don't want a to one be changed in this loop of j. So how to solve those problems? So we just uh, need to define a variable d and we get the value of a i k and put the value of a i k to d so if we do this we can solve this problem okay after that so on here there we have finish step one two three if n equals to four and we should calculate the value of x now so if we want to calculate the value of x we should define one more variable which we can name it c i c and allocate c and we build a loop and uh, from the equation we know if j does not equal to i And do so from line forty five to line fifty four we calculate the value of x. Now we write the result to the screen. Okay, that's all. I have made a mistake, and we should add a comma there. So let's compile the Fortran source code. I use the Fortran compiler, and okay, there are no errors, so. That's wrong. Okay, and uh, we can find that, and this is the solution. So, we found that this solution is right.